Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand variables and constants. In the previous video tutorials, we understood why do we need variables and why do we need constants. We understood what is a variable and what is a constant. We understood how do we create and initialize variables. How do we declare and initialize constants. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss naming conventions for variables and constants. That is, the rules for naming variables and constants. While forming variable names and constants, the set of rules that we need to follow are called as naming conventions, guys. The first rule is, variable name and constant name must be meaningful and descriptive. While naming a variable or a constant, you should not use simply characters like S, P, A, X, Y, like that. Variable name and constant name must be meaningful and descriptive. By seeing the variable name, we should understand what is the purpose of that variable, what is the purpose of that constant, guys. For example, if I need to keep track of player score in a game, then I can create a variable with the name S, yes, I can create a variable with the name score, I can create a variable with the name player score. Here, player score is the best choice because player score is more meaningful and descriptive than just score and S, right? Next rule is, keywords should never be used as variable name or a constant name. We know that there are 32 keywords are available in C programming language. We should not use any of the keyword to name a variable or a constant. You can see here, continue is an invalid variable name or a constant name because continue is a keyword, while is a keyword, for is a keyword. So keywords should never be used as a variable name or a constant name. The first character can be an alphabet or underscore. First character can be an alphabet or underscore guys. The first character should not be a number. You can see here I have written ninth player as an invalid variable name or a constant name. You can write player nine. but Ninth player is invalid guys because the first character should not be a number. First character can be an alphabet or underscore. All succeeding characters can be alphabets, digits or underscores. After the first character, next characters can be an alphabet or a digit or an underscore guys. No special characters are allowed except underscore, not even space guys. No special characters are allowed except underscore. You cannot use plus, minus, dollar symbols while naming variables and constants. Variable names and constant names are case sensitive. That means uppercase characters and lowercase characters are treated differently. They are not same in C programming language. If you create two variables with the name num and num, they both have same meaning but they are treated differently. They are treated two different variables. Why? Because here n is capital, here n is in lower case. So variable names and constant names are case sensitive. Upper case and lower case characters are treated differently. In C programming language, if something need to be written in lower case, you must and should write that in lower case. If something need to be written in upper case, you must and should write that in upper case, guys. Otherwise, you get errors. White space is not allowed. As I told, no special characters are allowed except underscore, not even space. You should not have space in a variable name or constant name, guys. Next, use camel case naming convention for naming variables. Use camel case naming convention. Camel case naming convention says, if there is a single word in a variable name, then all characters should be in lower case. You can see here, I have a variable called as num. All characters are in lower case. I have a variable called as score. All characters are in lower case. If there is a single word in a variable name, then all characters should be in lower case. If there are more than one words in a variable name, then first two words all characters should be in lower case and all succeeding words first character should be in upper case, guys. You can see here I have written player score. Here we have two words, right? First words, all characters are in lower case and next words, first character is in upper case. So remember that 
if there are more than one words in a variable name then first words all character should be in lower case and every other words first character should be in upper case next whereas while naming a constant all character should be in upper case while naming a constant all character should be in upper case if there are more than one words in a constant name they should be separated by an underscore character guys the next rule is no two variables or constants should have the same name in the same scope that means if you have a main function in the main function you cannot have two variables saying int num int num that's the meaning of that no two variables or constants should have the same name in the same scope we are going to discuss about variable scope function scope etc we are going to discuss about uh, variable scope and all in the upcoming video tutorials okay guys next rule is always initialize a variable and constant when they are declared as i told that by default a variable is going to have some integer garbage value that's not a good practice i told you that always initialize a variable or a constant when they are declared guys i hope you guys have clearly understood the rules for naming a variable or a constant rules for forming variables and constant names guys i suggest you people to watch this video again and again try to remember them and follow these rules while naming variables and constants when you write programs guys I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends I hope you guys have clearly understood in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about C programming for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this video with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank you.